victory that God has given to you? Can you thank him for his provision, for his protection? Can you thank him on behalf of every member of your family, your spouse, your children? Can you magnify the love for your business, for the work of your hand, for your career? Can you thank him for answer prayers? Can you thank him for every good thing that God has been doing? Oh, Marima, take a gentle mama. Our God is awesome. Our God is good. Our God is great. Our God is mighty. Our God is powerful. Go ahead, worship him this morning. Thank him. Thank him for what he has done since the beginning of the year till now. Thank him for the remaining days of the year. Oh, Marima, take a gentle mama. Zolobote gajinta le brande kasanta le mama Zaba ba 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 Raboto gajinta le mama kajinta le Papa ma gajinta le mama Zele mama 17 days to go 17 days to go Mariboto gabalabo shanta le Appreciate God Thank him, thank him Because he will not permit any evil to befall you In Jesus most wonderful name We have worship can you go ahead and plead the blood of Jesus this morning for mercy? Can you plead the blood? Can you plead the blood for cleansing? For thorough washing? Can you add a lot to purge you by the blood? The blood that was shed on my Calvary. The Bible says we they overcame by the blood of the Lamb, including power of sin. They overcame by the blood. Can you go ahead and plead the blood this morning? Plead the blood, plead the blood, plead the blood, plead the blood. That the blood that speaks better than the blood of Abel will speak on your behalf this morning. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we have prayed. I told somebody to say a better amen. If you're excited to be in his presence, say a louder amen. You want to take just three prayer points very quickly because of time. The Bible says in Psalm 31 verse 19, Psalm 31 verse 19, how great is thy goodness. Somebody will experience the goodness of God. How great is thy goodness, which thou hast laid up for them that fear thee, which thou hast wrought for them that trust in thee before the sons of men. Praise the Lord. The great goodness of God will be your portion. Only one person is saying amen. And you lift up your two hands to heaven as you open your hand wide to God and say, Father, say, Father, say, Father. How great is thy goodness. As for me and my household, satisfy us with your goodness. Can you go ahead and touch the Almighty God? Say, Lord, as for me and my household, please satisfy us with your goodness today. Can you open your mouth and touch the Almighty God? Add the Lord to satisfy you with his goodness. 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 That is satisfy me, O God. With your goodness, Masupali Mashentalia, Raboto Gabali Mate Gajentali, Zelebos Kateli Mama, that is satisfied with your goodness. Almighty God, satisfied with your goodness. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Still lift up your two hands to heaven and say, Father, you can do better. Say, Father, for the rest of my days, let your goodness follow me. Everywhere I go, everything I do let your goodness follow me can you go ahead and touch the Almighty God that the goodness of God will follow you today, the goodness of God will follow you this week, the goodness of God will follow you in all that you will do Mazaba Lamato Gashen Telimama Zalebrande Kato Gashen Telimama Zamaleka Talebrando Koto Gashen Telia Ah, Daddy let your goodness follow me Lord, let your goodness follow me. King of glory, let your goodness follow me. Kalibato Gashen Telimama. Supale Brande Kata Gashen Telimama. Zale Baba Kayekete Gashenta. Daddy, let your goodness follow me. Almighty God, let your goodness follow me. King of glory, let your goodness follow me. Yes, Lord. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we have prayed. Finally, lift up your two hands to heaven. I say, Father, Father, say, Father, Father, I want my joy to be full. I am my entire household. Therefore, O oh God, whatever you need to do in my life for my joy to be full, 
Go ahead, O oh God. Do it now. Can you go ahead and talk to your maker? Can you talk to your maker? Tell him, Lord, I want my joy to be full. <laughs> Lord, whatever you need to do in my life, in my home, in my family, for my joy to be full, whatever I need to do in my ministry, whatever I need to do in your church, whatever I need to do in our nation, for our joy to be full, Lord, do it now. Is somebody praying at all? Is somebody praying at all? If your desire is like my own, that you want fullness of joy, you want fullness of joy, only God can grant you fullness of joy. Only the almighty God that can grant you and your family fullness of joy. Ah, man, lima to gajeketeli mama. Ah, palo poto gazi kale mama shentelia. Limbranda gate gazon talia. Ah, daddy, whatsoever, whatsoever that will make my joy to be full. The joy of my children, the joy of my spouse. Lord, go ahead, do it now. Do it now. Put the devil to shame. Put the enemy to shame. Let my joy be full. In Jesus, most wonderful name, we have prayed. I thought someone would say a louder amen. Now lift up your two hands and say, Father, my Christmas gift, my New Year gift, the tie you have never given me before. Oh God, my Father. Please hear my cry. Can you go ahead and talk to the Almighty God? There is a Christmas gift for you from God. There is a New Year gift from you from God. Ask Him to give it to you now. Something I've never done before. Something new. Something awesome. Something glorious. Something great. Go ahead. Ask for your New Year and your Christmas gift. Ask for your New Year and your Christmas gift. Hey, Kalima Toka Shente, Mama. Thank you, Mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Precious Father, we say good morning. Loving God, we appreciate you. You are such a good God, great God, mighty God, awesome God, powerful God, loving God, caring God, supportive God, helpful God. Lord, accept our worship in the name of Jesus. Once again, we thank you for what you did yesterday. Thank you for counting all among the living today. Thank you for frustrating all our enemies. Thank you for not allowing them to prevail over us. Thank you for your favor that we enjoy on a daily basis. Thank you for answer prayers. Thank you for prayer you are here to answer. Thank you for the one you will never answer. Thank you for our enemies. Thank you for our friends. Lord, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Daddy, your word it is written. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you because today I will be glad in this day in the name of Jesus. We will rejoice in this day in the name of Jesus. Therefore, oh God, we plead the blood for mercy. Is there anything capable of healing our prayer? Daddy, have mercy in the name of Jesus. By the blood, pour us and wash us clean in the name of Jesus. And Lord, because your goodness is great, we are asking, oh God, that you satisfy us uh, with the greatness of your goodness in the name of Jesus. For everyone under the influence of my voice, particularly, Lord, where you will hear a very loud amen, let goodness follow us in the name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, I pray for your children even at the Christmas is at the corner. Lord, consider us for your Christmas gift in the name of Jesus. Something you have never given to us before, give to us this time in the name of Jesus. Cause our joy to be full. That it cause our joy to be full. Let us know fullness of joy. Take things of weeping away from us. Things of sorrow away from us. Tragedy away from us. Calamity away from us. Sickness away from us. Diseases away from us. Infection away from us. And Lord, all over the world today, send help to all your children. And all over the world today, Lord, bring sinners into your kingdom. Thank you, mighty Father. Blessed be thy name in highest. For we pray in Jesus' name. And the people of God will say a very loud amen. And you say that, amen, three powerful times. Want to go? Yes, Two. Yes, and yes, lift up your right hand and say with me very quickly. And say, the Lord my God is greater than all gods. 
The Lord my God is mighty. The Lord my God is omnipotent. The Lord my God is wonderful. All praises be to the King of kings and the Lord of lords. He alone is wonderful in all his ways. I declare and I confess concerning me and my household that our trust is in the Lord. He is our all in all. And he will do marvelous things in our life to prove that he is a good God. I declare and I confess that the Lord has laid off for me his great goodness because I fear him and I trust in him. In the morning, I will see his goodness. In the noon, I will see his goodness. In the evening, I will see his goodness. And his goodness shall follow me all the days of my life. I declare and I confess that the goodness of the Lord shall increase and multiply upon my life on a daily basis. And I shall know no sickness and diseases. I shall not be poor. I shall know no suffering. By his goodness, the Lord shall take me higher and higher till I get to the very top in life. I'll finish well. I'll finish strong. My ending shall be far better than my beginning. I'll not go to hell. I'll reign eternity. I'll love the Lord and I'll serve the Lord all the days of my life. In Jesus' name. Are you going to blind the Holy Ghost for one minute? Ma super lima te ga gente lima ma timbro no koto gabashinta le kato ga gente lia rabote ga zika to gabashinta lia ne salima mama ka gente lia and so shall it be in Jesus name may the Lord hear you confirm His word with signs with wonders with miracles in your life. Turn all your confession to testimony and destroy every power that will not allow your confession to come to pass. And very soon, your testimony, your testimony will be heard. Name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. I thought you said that. Amen. Seven powerful times. One to go. Two, three, four, five. Six and the loudest. Jam your hands together. Celebrate the King of Kings, the Lord of Law, the one who was, who is, and who is to come. Is that all you can do? Hallelujah. Can somebody make a joyful noise unto the Lord? Can somebody scream? Hallelujah. Can I prophesy into your life very quickly? May the Lord deliver you from every unfriendly friends. You didn't hear me loud and clear. May the Lord deliver you from every unfriendly friends. I mean enemy pretending to be friends. And so shall it be. In Jesus' name. Once again, jam your hands together. And let's really be seated as kings and queens in his presence. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10 to 13. The topic this morning is help to end in praise. There is a help you need for all to end in praise. That help is on the way. That help has come. When will you receive your own? Tell your neighbor, my own is today. And your own is tomorrow. <laughs> Let somebody shout hallelujah. What did your neighbor tell you? You are not saying anything, so your neighbor's voice is louder. Tell your neighbor, my own is today. Your own is next year. <laughs>
Let somebody shout hallelujah. Our help will come today. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 to 13. Fear thou not for I am with thee. Be not dismayed for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Is it like that in the Bible? Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Behold, all they that were incense against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing. And they that strive with thee shall perish. They that strive with thee shall perish. Thou shalt seek them and shall not find them. Even them that contended with thee, they that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught. For I, the Lord thy God, we hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Brethren, the Bible made me to know that there are those that are referred to as helpers of joy. As what? As what? Help us of joy. Praise the Lord. And uh, when you talk about the help us of joy, they have only one assignment. They have only one what? Eh? How many assignments? One assignment. And the assignment is to ensure that you end in praise. That you do what? Who is that fellow here this morning? In that name that is above every other name, you are ending in praise. I repeat one more time. You are ending in praise. Until roots Received her from Boaz. Her case did not end in praise. If not for the help of Boaz, there is no how the case of Ruth will have ended in praise. Praise the Lord. But one thing I know is that when God wants your case, to end in praise, he turned everybody around you to be your helper. Hello? Nobody had me. I said, Nobody had me. Turn to your neighbor say, I am suspecting you are my helper. Please help me quickly. Let somebody shout hallelujah. <laughs> Because he must end in praise. Everyone around you, he will turn you to, he will turn them to what? Even you yourself may not even know that they are your helpers. Because God has made up his mind according to our test, saying, fear not, I will help thee. Everybody around you become helper. We are concentrating on a man called Neymar. In 2 Kings chapter 5. 2 Kings chapter what? If you are there, shout hallelujah. It's a story we all know very well. Nema, I only read one verse of the scripture concerning him, which is 2 Kings chapter 5, verse 1. He said, Now, Nema, that summarizes everything about him. He said, Now, Nema, captain or the host of the king of Syria was what? A great man with his master and honorable. 
because by him the Lord had given deliverance unto Syria. He was also a mighty man in valor, but he was a leper. Hello? But he was what? A leper. That bot neutralizes all the achievement of Neymar. That bot, anytime he remember that he is a leper, sorrow overwhelms him. Sorrow takes over irrespective of what he had accomplished in life. In other words, he had never in his life no fullness of joy. Why? The Bible says he was a leper. And so his desire had already been when will this leprosy leave me alone that my joy may be full? Can I pray for you, sir? Whatever that need to leave you for you to end this year in praise shall leave you today. If you are that fellow, say it louder, amen. Beloved, his case was a pathetic one. Why? He was helpless. But God was determined to help him. Hello? Hello? God was what? How do I know? Even our Lord Jesus Christ made a reference to him saying that there are many lepers in the days of Nima. He said, but there was none that help was sent to except Nima. There are many lepers in his days, but only him received help. Why? God decided to help him. And like I said earlier, when God decides to help you, everyone around you become your helper. How do I know? Suddenly, a maid, which is a slave and a servant, who had been with Naaman for years, suddenly became a helper. Hello? Suddenly became what? A helper. How do I mean? It was the maid that said to the wife, I know somebody somewhere. Praise the Lord. If you read uh, verse 3, or we read verse 2 and 3, and the Syrian had gone out by company and had brought away Kati out of the land of Israel, a little maid, and she waited on Naaman's wife. And she said unto her mistress, Would God, my Lord, were the prophet that is in Samaria, for he will recover him of his war. Leprosy. Because God was determined to help Naaman, the maid in his house suddenly became what? A helper. How? She brought to the family the most needed information of their lifetime. Can I pray for you, sir? Brethren, all you need is just one information. Hello? Concerning your case. Concerning your situation. Just one information. Can I decree? In that name that is above every other name. Whoever God wants to use for your case to end in praise, let God turn their heart to help you. Supposing that maid have kept quiet. I'm asking. Supposing she had what? Kept quiet. Will them ever end in praise? No. But God touched the heart of the maid to voice out. Can I pray for you, sir? Where your vital information is, that vital information you need for your business, you need for your career, you need for your children, you need for your family. God himself, we taught the heart of that fellow to voice it out in the name of Jesus. God will position, though we classify information to release them to you. 
If you are saying amen, say it loud and clear. Sir, ma, where you are, there is always somebody that know what you do not know. And you are suffering what you are suffering because of what you do not know. Hello? You are suffering what? What you are suffering because of what you do not the day you know what you are supposed to know, the suffering will end. Neman received classified, what I would call classified information from an ordinary maid. Brethren, don't look down on anybody. That fellow beside you may be the helper you need. That's number one. So, God turned the maid to a helper. Number two, God turned the king to a helper. Hello? Meaning, God can use the small and the mighty for you. I repeat, God can use what? The small and the mighty. For who? For you. As soon as the information came, Naaman spoke to the king. The king did not hesitate. King of Syria. He gave the needed letter. Naaman, he died the case. By his grace, our fear is upon those, our neighbors. Oh yeah, go and give it to the king of Israel and let the deed be done. Hello, can I pray for you? All those in position that are supposed to help you today, 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 God will call them to remember you. All those that has the money you need in their pocket. Mm. Hello, you want that one? Praise God. Today, you will receive a call. Today, credit alert will come. Today, financial alert will come. Yeah. You better let your amen be louder than your neighbor. Yeah. The king wrote to the king of Israel. Here is my general. Heal him of his leprosy. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You know the story, isn't it? The king was used as a helper. As what? A helper. And then and there, when king of Israel received the letter, he turned his cloth and said, why is this man looking for trouble? Am I a doctor? Or am I a herbalist? Or am I a prophet? How can he say I should go and kill this person again? He's looking for my peace. Praise the Lord. Let somebody shout hallelujah. But you discover that all these are happening because God has determined to help Neymar so that his case can do all end in praise. I look at the story. I was just meditating. I said, ah, ah. where were these people before? They were all there. Nehemiah never knew they were going to be his helper to take leprosy away. But God began to orchestrate things and begin to raise helpers. The next helper that God raised for Nehemiah was the man of God. Hello? The what? And I know God is going to use me to help somebody here today. If God used man of God that time, he will use me for you. Because in that name, there's above every other name. How God will do it, I don't know. But whatever problem that in your life, God will intervene. I said the Almighty God will intervene. Because all that the man of God needs to do was to speak the word. He told the king, he said, why are you disturbing yourself? Send him to me. Uh -uh. They didn't call the man of God who. 
He only heard that this is the problem, this is the situation. He said, send him to me. Elisha became what? Helper. God recruited the man of God to be part of the chain of helper for the case of Nema to end the praise. And when Nema came, another helper emerged. Another helper did what? Another helper did what? Who is that helper now? Who can tell me? Huh? Is that what? Who servant? No. The next helper is the servant of the man of God, which is Gehazi. Because the man of God did not even bother to come out. He told his servant, Go and tell him to go and dip. How many? Seven times in River Jordan. Thank God he did not pass wrong information. That's where you know that his role is very important. Hello? You have you not seen somebody the same message and he went and do different things? Eh? I said, have you not heard before? Have you not seen before? So you better clap for Gehazi. For giving the right to... <laughs> Praise the Lord. If they ask him, go and tell the man of God to go and dip seven times in River Jordan. And he goes there and say, eh, they say you should go to Jordan. How many times do you say make you bath self? One, one time, just go. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Let somebody say that, Lilia. <laughs> you will just go deep one time and come out. Nothing will happen. Am I correct? Or you go there and say, eh, go and deep. Uh, I think five times for grace. Five times. Five times. Or you say go to River Damascus. Praise the Lord. Or he got there and say, okay, is he there? They say he's a leper. The man of God said, I should tell you to go back to your house, fetch water, and bath seven times. Let's all shout hallelujah. <laughs> you are surprised. Don't be surprised. Can I pray for you? Every messenger that God will send to you will deliver the right message. <laughs> Brethren, messengers are so important. Don't undermine them. In that name that's above every other name. Messenger will deliver the right message to you. If I say the message loud and clear. He said to him, my master said I should tell you, go and deep several times in Jordan. Right information, correct message, no, no pollution. It was not diluted. Praise the Lord. All your helper, they will accomplish their task. You are saying him and say loud and clear. Then and there, the man began to grumble and complain. How can there are better rivers? Rivers Faba is there, Damascus is there. He didn't ask me to go and wash. This dirty Jordan is where he asked me to go and wash. I will not wash. I don't do what? And I pray for you. Every spirit of doubt, every spirit of unbelief that will not allow your case end in praise, I cast them out now in the name of Jesus. Hey, he was at the verge of missing it. He was where? At the verge of Listen to me, sir. Look at me. When God determined to help you, he will make sure that you don't make mistake. The man had turned back and said, I would better go back to Syria. Then he raised another helper to him. That is his own servant again. What you can call his oddly. His what? His own oddly. He said, ah, ah, oh God. If this man have asked you to bring the whole of Syria, if they have asked you to bring 1,000 head for your healing, you will have done it. What is in you? Dipping yourself seven times. Try it now. Please, oh God. I am begging you, please. Your helpers will beg you to help you. He now said, ah, 
it is true. He almost missed it, two of us. He said it is true. Then he now went back. Hello? Let us say he went back. And then what did he do? He obeyed. And deep. How many times? At the seventh time. What happened? Oh my God, I can't hear you. I said, What happened? I said, What happened? His case ended in grace. Look at everyone around him became a helper. Brethren, this God is too much. When he said that, Don't fear, I will help you. You don't know how I want to help you, he, you don't know who he wants to use. But he is committed to the fact that he wants to do all. He wants to help you. Be seated. Let me give you two points and we rise up to pray. What are the lessons here for us? What are the lessons here for us? Number one lesson. Except God help you, no man can help you. Except what? That's why I say, behold. I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. He said, I will help thee. I'll do what? He said, for I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, fear not, I will help thee. Can somebody lift up his hand and say, Lord, help me. Can you say loud and clear, Lord, help me. He will help you, sir. Because your case will end in praise. And what did he do? He began to raise people. Raise people. I don't know who God wants to raise for you. Between now and Christmas, God is raising men and women for you. People you do not even know. People you do not even know. People you do not even thought of. People you do not even know are dear. They are going to rise up for your help. That's first lesson. I said the Lord help you. No man can. That's why David said, I will look unto the hills from where coming my hair. My hair coming from the Lord that created the heaven and the number two lesson that you need to learn from this story is that God's determination to help you cannot be stopped even by yourself. Hello? When God decides to help you, even you yourself, you can't stop it. Don't forget that he, Neymar almost stopped the help, isn't it? But he cannot. Because it was not him. It was God that was in charge. God will be in charge of your case. If you are saying Neymar, say like that, clear. Number three, let's see. Everyone around you are your helpers. How many people? Everyone around you. That's why you must be good to people. Be good to everybody around you. I beg of you in the name of God Almighty. Because you don't know what will happen. Be good to your neighbor. Be good to your colleague. Be good to your friends. Don't bother. Even if they try to reward you with evil. Don't bother. Just be good. Don't do what? Because Caesar, if that mistress, particularly our mommies, if that mistress have not been good to that maid, will that maid have opportunity to talk to her? I am praying for you. I will give you the right spirit. Number four, lesson. Are we there? Number four, lesson. When your help comes, your joy will overflow. When your help comes, what will happen? Eh? Who joy is going to overflow today? Rise on your feet. Let us stop here this morning. My help, oh. my help, oh. my help, oh. Oh. There is something that makes me come into your presence.
yourself. Neymar help himself. When God wants to help you, you must be willing to help your... And what is it that is required of you? Obedience. Lift up your two hands and say, Father, help me to help myself. Can you go ahead and cry to the Almighty God? Say, Lord, help me to help myself. Almighty God, please help me to help myself. Lord, help me to help myself. Ancient of days, help me to help myself. Lord, help me to help myself. Lord, help me on every side. Help me to do the right thing. Help me to obey you. Help me to listen to you. Help me to take the right action. Can you cry to the mighty God to help you to help yourself? Lord, help me to help myself. Lord, help me to help myself. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Now lift up your two and say, Father, I don't want to end in shame. I don't want to end in sorrow. Arise, O oh God. Raise helpers for me. You raise helpers for Neymar. Lord, raise helpers for me. I don't know who my helpers are. Lord, raise helpers for me. Can you go ahead and touch the Almighty God? Ask God to raise helpers for you. Ask the Almighty God to raise helpers for you. He raised the maid. He raised. He raised the king. He raised the man of God. He raised the servant of the man of God. He raised the servant of Nehemiah, even as his helper. Ask the Lord to raise helpers for you in your workplace, in your neighborhood, in your place of business. Say, Lord. God, raise helpers for me in ministry. Raise helpers for me. Those in the high places. Oh, my son, Talia, the small and the mighty. The small and the mighty. Hey, the poor and the rich. Raise as helpers for me. Kalima to Talimama. Kalibra ne kasan Talimama. Sele baba jetalebo kosan Talia. Hey, Jesus, help mighty name. We are praying. Lift up your voice. Say, Father, help me not to look down on my helpers. Can you go ahead and talk to Almighty God that the Lord will help you not to look down on your helpers. He never did not look down on his helpers. Lord, help me not to look down on my helpers. Kalima Sota Limama Pregreboska Liba Baba Daddy help me. Help me, help me. Help me that I will not look down on my helpers. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Finally, lift up your two hands and say, Father, I want my case to end in praise. Every help that I need to end in praise, let me receive now. Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. Every help that I need for me to end in praise, Lord, let me receive now. Hey, my riba to Gashem Talmama. Lord, let me receive now. Every help that I need. Oh, Mariba, Baba, 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 Kashente le boto Gashenta le mama, Raba, Baba, 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 Zali boto gaprande kasanta le mama, Shipoto bali brando kasanta le, and so shall it be in Jesus' name. Stretch out your hands to the altar, brethren. We only use name as a case study. But if you study your Bible very well, you discover that everyone that their case ended in praise received help. Both in the Old Testament, in the New Testament. You want to talk about Joseph? Joseph's case ended in praise because help came. Am I correct? You want to talk about Moses? Moses' case ended in praise because help came from Pharaoh's daughter. Am I correct, sir? Is it roots? Her case ended in prayer because Boaz rose up to help her. 
Is it Nehemiah that we just talk about? Coming to the New Testament, the bridegroom in John chapter 2, his case ended in praise because mother of Jesus took up the responsibility to help him to talk to Jesus. Am I correct, sir? So one thing you need for your case to end in praise is help. Step forth your hand to the altar. In that name that is above every other name. God will help you to help yourself. I say God will help you to help yourself. When your helper shall rise up for you, you will not walk against yourself. Let God turn everyone around you to your helper. Let the almighty God turn everyone around you to your helper. In the mighty name of Jesus, today the Lord will raise helpers for you. Both small and mighty, God will raise for you. Till your case will end in praise. In the mighty name of Jesus, receive help. I said receive help. Let your helpers manifest. Let your helpers manifest. Between now and Christmas, let your helpers manifest. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let God set you your case. The God that did not allow Neymar to end in shame. To die in shame. To die a leper. That God will not allow you end your case in shame. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Testimony will follow. Even your neighbor standing beside you will hear your testimony. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Lift up your seat to heaven and say, Father. Say, Father. Even with my seat, help me financially. Send financial help to me. That even before sunset today, I will receive financial alerts. Can you go ahead and touch it, Almighty God? Karima to Gajian Tali Mama. Zalebo to Gajian Tali Mama. Zalebo Mama Kashian Tali. That let me receive financial alert today. Thank you, Mighty Father. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. God will cause you to receive financial alert. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Congratulations. I will hear your testimony. I say, I will hear your testimony. I say, I will hear your testimony. By the special grace of God, as we continue in this program, tomorrow we'll be talking about favor to aid in praise. What do I call it? All I know is that whatever God needs to do for us to end in praise, God is going to do it. Watch out. Helpers are going to come looking for you. I say, helpers are going to come looking for you. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. <laughs> Don't forget that later this evening, we'll be coming around to conclude our Digging Deep series, uh, which is uh, the God of obedience and science and wonder. Endeavor to be in attendance, and the Lord bless you really good in Jesus' name. Who got the bigger blessing this morning? Let your hallelujah be the loudest. The grace.